Hey, and welcome to another Ting tutorial. Today we're gonna to show you how to install Facebook Home on your uh, Android smartphone. So, uh, Facebook Home is essentially like Facebook, but it takes place of your OS. It's um, more like a skin or like a layer on top of your Android operating system. It's not a fork, it's not a hack, you don't need to root your phone in any way. Um, it's a very simple install, but uh, some people might not know that it's available or how to do it, so we're gonna show you how to do it now. One thing to be aware of that there uh, is limited support right now for phones and this platform. As of, uh, as of this tutorial, only the phones that are uh, showing up on the side of the phone here are supported. However, Facebook has said they're gonna be adding in more as time goes on, so by all means, do not be discouraged by the list that you see. It's very possible that by the time you see this, more phones have been added. You can always check out facebookhome.com for uh, more details on that. But okay, here's how you install it. Simply uh, click on the Play Store icon. If you don't have it as a default anymore on your home screen, you can always hit the app tray and find it there as well. There you go, Play Store. And then it's just a matter of clicking search. Uh, I've already searched for Facebook, but that's not going to get me Facebook Home, so I'm just going to repeat that. Facebook. Ah, see, there you go, Facebook Home. Great. Now, there is one caveat in that you have to have Facebook installed, uh, the, uh, the app, I mean, before you can put Home on. Now, uh, I've already pre-installed it. If you're a Facebook user, um, chances are the reason that you want Facebook Home is because you're a Facebook user. You have this app already. If not, install it. Um, otherwise, just uh, click on the Facebook Home icon here. And we're going to tap to install. Uh, currently, it doesn't require any special permissions, which is interesting, but all right. We're going to continue with that. Um, I do not care about the Wi-Fi update, thank you. I'm just going to go back out to the home screen. OK, great. So here we are in the app tray. See, there you go, there's the Facebook Home icon. Some people can install Facebook Home just by clicking on the Facebook app. You're gonna be prompted with a message that says, hey, Facebook Home is ready to install. Would you like to complete the setup? Um, I found that that's sort of spotty, so I think it's just safer to click the uh, Facebook Home icon. So now you're gonna get an option of, of uh, which version of uh, a launcher that you wanna use. Like I said, Facebook Home is essentially a skin. It's not overriding your Android platform, your Android, all your contacts, all your apps are gonna stay underneath. It's just basically a top layer. So you will have an option between Facebook Home and the original launcher, which is TouchWiz, which is the interface that the Samsung S3 uses. Um, we're gonna click Home. And below are two options. You have the option of always using this uh, launcher or just once. And if you click just once, by the time you hit the home button, you're gonna be uh, returned back to TouchWiz and then you'd have to relaunch Facebook Home by clicking on it. In this case, we wanna use it always because we're heavy Facebook users, okay. And it's gonna complete the rest of the install, which usually takes about 15 seconds. You'll know that it's almost done because your avatar from Facebook will pop up in the bottom center. See, there you go, there's me. And there you go. So the first thing you'll notice that the wallpaper or the screen has now been replaced by status updates by your friends. And you can just swipe through those. And as you can see, uh, it replaces it with a picture and there's the person's message. You can tap on their name to like it, to comment it just like you would on Facebook. If you tap out, you go back to your uh, you go back to your home screen. Um, it bears mentioning that the home screen is essentially Facebook Home. Um, this is the entire experience, and as you can see, it really strips Android away from all the other stuff that you're used to. Now, to access any phone features like your apps, uh, what you wanna do is just hold down on your profile pick, and you're gonna get uh, three more options here. You have on the left side here, Messenger, that's just gonna take you to uh, Facebook Messenger. Um, Facebook Messenger also interfaces with your text messaging so you'll be able to text message people on your phone, the contacts that you have, and also your Facebook contacts at the same time. So sort of like with iMessage on the iPhone, it's gonna switch between the two of them, which is handy. Um, if you click up here to apps, it's gonna take you to what is essentially a reskinned app tray. If you go to the left, these are all your apps right here. And if you hold down on any of them, you can bring them over just like you would in Android. The key here is that you have the ability to do uh, status updates, to post photos, and also to check in like you would with Facebook. So all that's built into the uh, app launcher. If you click back, you go back to your Facebook homepage here. And again, you can comment, you can like. Um, and uh, the one final thing I wanna show you, because some people have complained about this in the past, you'll notice that you can't see uh, in the top right here, you can't see what time it is or what your battery level is. So to uh, bring that back, Facebook has sort of made it fairly easy. Click on your uh, settings button. As you can see, you're gonna get a whole bunch of options here. In this case, we just want home settings. Okay, and as you can see, there's an option here, and if we click on it, it says show status bar. So now if we go back to the screen, there we go. There is your status bar 
just like your regular Samsung Galaxy S3 would have. And I'm out of battery. I don't know what that means, but it's probably a bad sign. So there you go, that's Facebook Home. As you can see, it's a really simple install. Anyone can have it so long as the phone is supported. And uh, in the subsequent video that's gonna follow this, we're gonna show you how to get rid of it if you don't like it. So uh, thank you for tuning in. And remember, subscribe to our channel for uh, more handy tutorials and uh, information on the uh, Ting network.